Okay, what's up, YouTube? We're back with another fantastic video for y'all. Once again, we are going to introduce ourselves. I am Ephraim, and this is Danielle. And we are the fantastic, fantastic triplets. So, what we got for y'all today is, as you can see by the title, story time. Story time. Yo. So we're gonna tell y'all some little funny stories that happened in our past. And um hope you guys like this. It's some stuff happened to us that's been really, really funny. And you might get a kick out of it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. So I'm gonna go first. And then she's gonna go and vice versa. So we're going to tell a total of three stories. Now this first story that I want to tell y'all is very funny and it could have ended very, very bad for me. So listen to this too. So I remember when I was little, um, cause if you, if those who know me, they know I'm a fire bug and I like to mess with fire, big mistake. Now, any kind of lighters or stuff that's in the house, she has to be very, very careful, and she always watch me, because, you know, if I have fire in my hand, run, because it can be bad. So what happened was, my mom had a lighter in the bathroom. So, uh, curious as I am, <laughs> curious, curious as I was, and as I am still today, I took the lighter. <laughs> Oh my God, this could have ended very dangerous, y'all. I took the lighter, I lit the toilet paper on fire, and because it startled me, I threw the um, toilet paper and set the drapes on fire. I ran out of that bathroom so fast, I thought I was dead, like straight up. I could have been a goner. So basically, <laughs> I lit. I set our entire bathroom on fire. You think my mama wasn't mad? Sure. I would have been mad. Yeah. I would never do that again. Mm. I would never do that again. Yeah, I would have been mad too. I got two up too though, low key. I did. I did it twice. I did it twice. The first time I got a whoop. <laughs> the second time, for some reason, I did it. She didn't whoop me the second time, but. Maybe because the second time wasn't that bad as the first one. But the first time, it was bad. Our, that whole bathroom had to, had to get, like, redone. Because I threw that bathroom completely up. So that's the story of when I set our bathroom on fire. <laughs> Next. So, this is a story where we had a little outing. We were having fun. We went to Valley Fair. And mm -hmm. we were just... Hanging out, getting our rides, having fun, you know, the usual. And it was me, my husband, his brother, and I think that's it, right? It was, uh, who else was on that ride? And, um, cousin. Cousin, his cousin. Cousin. Um, so, yeah, we were all getting on this one ride. We were waiting in line or whatever, chatting it up, whatever. <laughs> then we got on the ride. We got on the ride. Now, mind you, this is a roller coaster. A fast roller coaster at that. So, we got on the ride. It started going fast. It was fine. Then it started going faster. Then it started going faster. Then all of a sudden, I look around. I look back. My hair is flying in the wind like this <laughs> towards the back. Now, his brother and his cousin were sitting behind us. I... See my hair flying. I like, oh my god, oh my god, trying to fix it. And his brother back here trying to help me fix it too. And all along this while, this fool over here dying like a thing, <laughs> cracking up, didn't bother to help. Cause I was laughing. But we were all laughing. It was funny. So it it, it was funny. Okay. So, what made like, what made that so funny? I'm like. I'm trying to fix it and stuff, and then my hair wouldn't fix, and he's trying to pull it, help me. I'm like, this, this is what made that story funny to me. I mean, all I saw 
all with my brother long muscular arms <laughs> and he told me trying to grab her hair because what happened was it was a big old long thick braid right and the braid it was unraveled like bun. it was the top bun <laughs> the braid unraveled <laughs> and my brother long arm caught it before <laughs> it went but too it, far it was already too late because the <laughs> braid had came down so I had a picture of it too. I wish I would have. I wish I would have kept. It. I would insert that. I would insert that picture right here. <laughs> we'll try to insert that picture, but it, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was once we got off the ride. It was okay, but yeah, I don't. I don't got that picture no more. It was fun though. We still had fun that day. I tried to fix my hair, and you know, it was cool. All right, story number two. The story when I'm. I'm, not, I'm just gonna tell it. Mm -hmm. So. I was a youngster, once again, a little young buck, being silly. Now, me and my childhood friends, we used to do all kind of stuff. We used to flip off of garages onto mats. We used to flip out of trees onto mattresses growing up in, in the state of Wisconsin in the 90s. That's all we had to do. It wasn't no electronics. It wasn't no Facebook, no social media, nothing like that. What we did on our fun time, me and my childhood friends, Find some old thrown out mattresses. We'll jump and flip on them. Jump off garages and stuff. Listen to this here. So, me and a buddy of mine decided that we want to climb into the tree and flip out of it. Now, we was going to flip off the tree onto the actual, in, in the grass. We were, There wasn't no mattresses right there at that time. Man, I told this dude, I said... It has to be one at a time because I'm afraid that this branch is going to snap. Now, I was, I ain't weigh that much. I mean, I was only 11 years old. 11, 12, something like that. So, I climbed up the tree and I'm going to get ready and flip. His hard head itself going to climb up the tree with me. So, I sat down on the branch. And he sat down with me. So I'm sitting down, my legs is, is um in between the branch. I heard a crackling sound. I said, dude, get off this branch because I it's finna collapse. He laughed like something funny. <laughs> the branch collapsed. It collapsed. And I hit the ground, growing hurt. Damn. Like I was crying. It, it, I felt like my stuff was inside of my stomach. It hurt it so bad, y'all. I was talking about mad. When I regained consciousness and the pain was gone hours later, I hunted him down. <laughs> I hunted him down and we actually fought. I hit him in his mouth. I said, dude, you got me hurt. Uh-uh. Take that. I would never climb a tree again. I would have done the same thing though. <laughs> Shoot. Talk about mad, yo. Man. That was the maddest, angriest I ever been. I wanted, I wanted to fight him again, too. I bet. <laughs> um, so I have, here we go. So I was three years old. And I was going for a routine, you know, routine dentist appointment. Or whatever. Now, mind you, I was scared of dentist. So apparently, I went to the I went to the uh, the dentist office, waited my turn, waited for the dentist to call my name. So I went in the room, right? And I was three years old. Mind you, I was three. I was little, little baby, little tight. So I got in the chair. Mind you, I'm still scared for, of dentist. I got in the chair. He, the dentist turned his back away from me. He shouldn't have done that. He turned his back away from me. I got I got up out the chair and I just <laughs> ran down the hall, just booking it. I think I was looking for my mom and I was so scared and stuff. I think she was looking for me too. <laughs> I just was booking it because I did not <laughs> want that dentist nowhere near my mouth at all. But I was little. You know, I was three years old. I didn't know no better. 
Yeah. She ain't go back to a couple of years until <laughs> she got a little bit more mature. Uh, yeah. Surely didn't. Uh, I mean, the dentist turned his back for a split second. This girl got out of that um, chair, ran right back down to the <laughs> waiting room looking for mom. Like, she was gone. She hit the block. Man, 500. I wasn't going to let that dentist touch me. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here's my final story, and I wanted to say this story for last. And this this was way before like iPhones and Galaxies and all these look these smartphones. This is before that. I had this little nice, fantastic little flip phone, and I just got it. <laughs> it was like one of the top of the line flip phone flip phones. It was like an iPhone to a Nokia or something. Like, this phone was like, and it had my favorite, it was my favorite color. It was like brownish, goldish with black and, and a little bit of silver. I'm thinking I'm the stuff. Oh, man, this phone was, <laughs> man, yeah, hey, yo, what's up, what's up? My little flip mm -hmm. phone. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm the stuff, yo. I got hungry one time and it's how to do stop at a fast food place. Man, so these places, let me tell you, they had these, they got these little censored stalls. So, my phone was in my pocket, right? Now, but I remind you, these are the censored ones. Powerful censored ones. Any little movement, the toilet will flush. So, this is what happened. I'm using the bathroom because somebody else was using the, the um, the stall outside there. So I'm using the bathroom. My phone fell in the toilet. <laughs> now, right then and there, I already knew that, that my, the phone was gone. Like it was no getting away from that one. It was already gone. The moment it fell in the in the toilet, it was it was over. I wasn't gonna dip my hand in there and grab it. Man. And that now, knowing that the phone's already gone, I'm thinking to myself, don't move. Don't move. The slightest move is going to censor it and it's going to flush. So, I barely even moved an inch. Man, that phone flushed right down there. I was like, God dang, man. My perfectly good phone and I had just got it out of that. Talking about somebody being angry. Woo, I had an attitude that day. And I had to get me another phone. But the phone I got, they didn't have the ones that I that I got flushed down the toilet. That's the phone that I was looking for. That was the top of the line little flip phone. I wanted that phone so bad. And remind you, this was before these smartphones and stuff. This was like... But back in like, what, 2010 or something like that. Before the... All these spectacular gadgets came out. Mm -hmm. Man, I ain't even gonna lie. Let's just say, for instance, all these like smartphones was to go away. I would want to go back to that phone. Like, if the smartphone era was just to disappear and all the smartphones were to disappear, I would want to go back to that phone that I had. Because I thought I was the stuff with that phone. <laughs> Man, straight <laughs> up. I'm mad right today for that phone. <laughs> And then a month later, I go back in there and I found out that the one that they took away the censored um, toilets and they remodeled the whole thing. I think it's because I did some damage to that restaurant. I I think I damaged the pipe holes or something because they remodeled the they they had to do the plumbing over again. Little did they know it was my phone that caused all that damage. Damn. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Oh man, talking mm -hmm. about somebody being mad, y'all. I was mad that day. I would have been too. Shoot, <laughs> my phone flushed down the toilet. Man, I couldn't call my fiance at the time. I couldn't call my my mom. I couldn't call my mother-in-law. I couldn't call nobody. I came. I came home and I told my mother-in-law what happened. I said, "Mom, you would never believe what just happened to me." She was like, "What?" <laughs> my phone flushed in the toilet no I heard she laughed at me so hard and we both just started laughing I couldn't do nothing but the laugh I, I got a new phone anyway it was what it was I had to get a new phone but 
my mother, my mother-in-law, she was just cracking up at me. And she laughed at this story right now. And she's probably laughing right now watching this video. So, Mama, if you laugh me, I'm laughing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mama. <laughs> um, last story for me. So, we used to keep animals in our house all the time. We had dogs. We had cats. We had fish. We had a rabbit at some point. So, we always kept an animal in our house. So, one particular time, my sister kept fish you know it wasn't my fish it was her fish my sister had a fish um she called it ruby or ruby red one of them and she was i guess changing the changing the the tank the fish tank and i was i guess i was carrying the bowl and somehow that fish got onto the counter <laughs> flopped onto the counter and died. Now, <laughs> later on, we had to flush the fish down the toilet. That's tragic. It is tragic, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, I was young, she was young, you know, stuff happened. So, that's sad. It Poor is. fish. <laughs> Poor, rest in peace, Booby Red. What, we love you. What kind of fish was it? Uh, beta. A, be a beta fish, I beta. think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. Sorry, Booby. <laughs> Yeah. So that was a story time for y'all. We just want to make y'all laugh and bring that to y'all, and and we hope y'all enjoyed this story time video. We're gonna be doing more story time videos. So, like I said, we are still going to be doing our little trivia game video that we that we finna start called Fantastic Trivia. So still be on the lookout for that. We still trying to get some more ideas on how we're gonna do that those those videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't liked or subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do so. Please, 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 please hit like, that like, subscribe, hit that subscribe, thank share, you. Share, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we drop some fantastic videos for y'all. So um, once again, we hope y'all had a good laugh and. Um, Share, like, and subscribe to our channel. And once again, I'm Ephraim, and this is Danielle. And we are the Fantastic, Fantastic Triplets. Bye-bye.